Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just posted a video with an update of my upper blepharoplasty scars after six weeks uh, post-surgery. And I wanted to do a video to show how I do my makeup to kind of cover the scars as they heal and to show you what upper blepharoplasty scars can look like when they have makeup over it. So, um... I don't want to be one of those pick me bitches that's like, I don't really get my makeup. But I do keep it uh, pretty light. So let's just go ahead and do some makeup. So I use the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I already have moisturized my face. Um, oh, dang, I didn't do a primer. Oh, well. It's fine. So... I usually just use a CC cream um, and I'll either blend it in with my hands or use this brush. Today I'm using the brush. So I'll do that. So after I buff this in, I'll then just go over a light coat on the scar with the brush as well. I think it's already made a difference. Then I'll go in with the Bye Bye Under Eye It Cosmetics Concealer. And I'll just do a couple dots. And this can be a little harsh, this concealer. And I honestly, I think I have it in a color too light. Um, but, you know. What are you gonna do about it? So, just blend that into the scar. I'm sure there are other methods of doing this and then just definitely like tapping it in. And then I'll just bring a little bit to the under eye. So it's not, you know, completely invisible, but, you know, it's definitely less visible and you can kind of get a feel for what you're working with. Then I kind of go in and do a contour with the Mario Sculpt. What is this? Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the color light. And I'll just go ahead and do it along my jawline a little bit just to kind of give some overall warmth and definition to my face. I'm not great at makeup, guys. I'll do a little on the sides. I'm sure that I should probably be using a different brush with this. Um, but I'm very, very high maintenance, but also low maintenance, especially when it comes to makeup. Then I'll go in with this uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder just to set everything. Just go ahead and just reduce a little bit of the shine. And I'll make sure to go over the eyelids with it too, right? Um, did I bring a blush? Yeah, oh, and then I have this really old <laughs> MAC blush that I like. It's just a super, super like hot pink, but I think on the skin, it looks very natural and rosy. And I'll blend that in. And then I have the Glossier Brown Liner. And I'll just do a little bit uh, of a smudge on the under. And then I'll do a little bit of a smudge on the upper. And then I get a little brush and I blend it with a little bit of this contour 
by Mario. And I will go in and just buff it out. And then once I get a little bit of the color from the Glossier liner, I'll go in on top and just add that like crease contour above. And you know what? And then I just smudge it out a little bit and then I clean it up a little bit. Do that. Like I said, guys, a little contour under the lip. Do a little more on the nose. Rub it in. And then... <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I apologize. I'm just showing you what I do. Like, this is what I do. This is how I cover up my scar this is how i do my makeup this is what works for me and i like makeup i really do um i just feel like i have a facial shape that's not conducive to makeup um most of the time it just makes me look harsher and do a little bit of this urban decay uh, local shine and my favorite lip gloss Too Faced lip injection throw that over maybe I can do a little more liner let me do a little more liner sometimes I'll also do this just get it on the brush and then I'll just go in a little more smudge just don't I look if when I, I have such sharp um angular features and I also have a bit of like a masculine brow bone and forehead that if I do my makeup too heavy I tend to look really harsh uh sharp and a little bit drag queen-esque so I tend to just keep it a little bit lighter. Uh, you know, maybe eventually I'll learn how to do my makeup in a way that doesn't look so harsh. Um, but this is just where I'm at. So yeah, them's my eyes. Then with whatever residue is left, uh, I can just fill in my brows because I went over my brows with that foundation a little bit. And this eyebrow is my problem brow. It grows so wonky and weird. But I've learned to just accept it at this point in life. Um, try and fill that arch in a little. And that's it! Makeup is done. Oh, you know what? I didn't put a highlighter or anything. I do have a highlighter and I do like to do a little bit on the nose um, and cheeks and up here for a highlight. But this is my makeup. This is how my eyelids look after I do my makeup. You know, they're still there. They're still there. You know, it's definitely a lot less noticeable um, when, when you put your makeup on and then you can get a certain idea of what your eyes are going to look like when the scar is actually gone. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Bye!